Hello, all you wonderful people. One thing that I've noticed is when people are planning to come to Japan, there's one thing that's on the top of their list. It's to experience a traditional Japanese festival. Some people are very happy just going to a random festival, seeing the sights, taking some pictures, and saying, Yeah, I did it. But some people are crazy about the Matsuri life. They see anime that are set in summer with people in yukatas, which are like summer kimonos, experiencing games at booth, eating Japanese junk food, all in front of a shrine or a very popular area in that city. If you want to experience a true summer festival in Japan, you have to come to Japan in the summer when it is very hot. A great example of that would be the Fukugawa Hachima Matsuri, which happens in August in Tokyo. It's where they take the god out of the shrine, send him around town, and throw water on top of him, all while dressed in traditional clothing. And most people enjoy the festival, eating junk food and having a very good time around. Now, imagine, if you will, someone that wants to come out to see this specific event. They're like, do you really want to see this? I saw it in an anime, and I want to dress up in a yukata. Now, you have to come out in August, which is the hottest month of the year, and you're also paying $50 to $60 to dress up in a summer kimoto. And uh, it's going to be hot as heck, so you're going to look like you're melting in every single shot. But what if you don't have the time off in August? What if you don't have the money to dress up? And what if you just can't make it for a summer event period? There's actually a solution for this, and it's in a public bath of all places. In the mega city of Tokyo on the island of Odaiba, you can find the Oedo Onsen where you go into a magical world that transcends time and space and sends you back to the Edo period and allows you to wear your own yukatas that you can pick out. Some are really cool, some are so-so, but walking outside of the changing room puts you into the late 1800s in a summer festival at any time of the year. And if you think, uh, I'll be the only one in the Yukata because I'll be the only one that wants to dress up. Don't worry, when you walk out of the dressing room, you are surrounded by many people doing the exact same thing as you, taking in the smells, the tastes, relaxing, and all around enjoying a summer festival, all in air conditioning. This is a great time to also take in what the onsen is famous for. It's public bath, which if you're too timid, it's okay. They have a foot walking path where you can walk in hot water on really sharp stones and also smooth stones. And it's supposed to be holistically healing, but most people will find it just pretty painful, but it's pretty good after a long day of walking. But outside of the public nudity in the bath and the slightly painful foot bath, the one thing that you can really get out of this is the experience of a festival. If you've lived in Japan your entire life, this might not be the place for you because, well, you could see this pretty much every single day and at the end of the day it's a so-so public bath but the experience of the festival is pretty amazing. But if you've never been to a Japanese festival, if you're only here for a short time, I would highly recommend this place. Besides the fact that you can take pictures, relax in a hot bath, or just sit around, you'll be extremely relaxed the entire time. It's such a unique experience that I'd say I want to do again sometime in the near future. But the cost of this place is just under $25, which you might find a little cheaper than buying a yukata going out to a real festival in the hot, hot sun. 
But what do you guys think? Have you ever been to a public bath before? Have you ever experienced a true Japanese matsuri? Or have you experienced a cosplay festival where you've dressed up in traditional Japanese gear? Let me know in the comments. As I always say, you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. Stay groovy and have a wonderful day. Peace. Thanks for watching.